Hello, dear learners. Before we proceed with our lesson proper, I would like to commend all of you for all your efforts. This year is not easy for all of us, but I hope that this pandemic would not be a hindrance for you in pursuing what you want to become in the future. Last week, you were able to evaluate the equivalent resistance, current, and voltage in a given network of resistors connected in series or in parallel. You also calculated the current and voltage through and across circuit elements using Kirchhoff's loop and junction rules. Now this week, we will discuss about the concept of the other component of an electromagnetic field, which is called the magnetic field. Now, have you watched the movie entitled Through Night and Day? In that film, you can see the reason why Jen, played by Miss Alessandra De Rossi, wants to go to Iceland. That reason is the Aurora Borealis. Now, it might be that you may have asked yourself in O with dreams to see them one day. Now, this thing is caused by none other than the magnetic field of the Earth. So, what is magnetic field? It says here that magnetic field is a picture that we use as a tool to describe how the magnetic force is distributed in the space around and within something magnetic. The Earth's magnetic field is believed to be generated by electric currents in the conductive iron alloys of its core, created by convection currents due to heat escaping from the core. However, the process is complex and computer models that reproduce some of its features have only been developed in the last few decades. We have here the sources of magnetic field. First is the current in wire. Second is the loop in wire. Third is the solenoid. Fourth is the bar magnet. And fifth is the earth. Magnetic field is illustrated as vector field plot and field line plot. Okay, so let's proceed first to the vector field plot. Vector field plot can be plotted directly as a set of many vectors. We have here those vectors with an arrowhead drawn on a grid. Each vector points in the direction that a compass would point and has a length dependent on the strength of the magnetic force. An alternative way to represent the information contained within a vector field is with the use of a field line. So we have here field lines. Okay. Here, we dispense with the grid pattern and connect the vectors with smooth lines. So remember, magnetic field is illustrated by vector field plot or by field line plot. There are three things to consider under magnetic field or there are three things to remember under magnetic field. First is magnetic field lines never cross. Second, magnetic field lines naturally bunch together in regions where the magnetic field is the strongest. And third, magnetic field lines don't start or stop anywhere. They always make closed loops and will continue inside a magnetic material. In physics, specifically in electromagnetism, we have a force that is a combination of electric and magnetic force on a point charge due to electromagnetic fields. This force is called Lorentz force. Now, Lorentz force states that when an electric charge flows in a magnetic field, 
the force occur in both direction of magnetic field and charge are perpendicular. Okay? I repeat. The force occur in both direction of magnetic field and charge are perpendicular. In mathematics and physics, the right-hand rule is common mnemonic for understanding orientation of axis in three-dimensional space. Now, to use the right-hand rule, begin by making an L-shape using your right thumb, pointer, and middle finger. Then, move your middle finger inwards toward your palm, so that is perpendicular to your pointer finger and thumb. And to determine the direction of the magnetic force on a positive moving charge, point your right thumb in the direction of the velocity, your index finger into the direction of the magnetic field, and your middle finger will point in the direction of the resulting magnetic force. So I repeat, your index finger into the direction of the magnetic field, your middle finger into the direction of the magnetic force and your right thumb in the direction of the velocity. The equation under Lorentz force is force is equal to charge times velocity multiplied by the magnetic field. Lorentz force is measured in N or Newtons. Charge is measured in C or Coulombs. Velocity is measured in meter per second. And magnetic field is measured in T or Tesla. We have so many applications of Lorentz force, but I will just state three of them. First is the electric motor. Electric motors are run by this force. Example, your toy car DC motor. When the conductor and the rotor is supplied by external DC power, the rotor will rotate. Second, when solar charged particles hit the Earth's magnetic field, the particle will spiral along with Earth's magnetic field and get the beautiful northern light aurora borealis. Third is in a loudspeaker. Current flowing in wires puts a force on a piece of magnetic material. That magnetic material moves in response and in turn, the magnet pushes a paper or plastic cone and the cone pushes the air. The result is sound and perhaps music. To end this discussion, let me read this. Magnetism and electricity are fundamental forces that is essential in our lives. One would not exist without the other. Like in life, we must never sacrifice a driving force in favor of the other motivations because all of them are essential. That's all. I hope that today's discussion gave you more understanding about magnetic field and Lorentz force. God bless and keep safe.